Hi, my name is Mike and I'm the Gaming Genie and today I'm here to review Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Wii U. Now I've been waiting for this game to come out for a long time. Basically, since they announced it, you know, on the Nintendo Direct. Who hasn't been waiting for the game since then? Everything they showed looked fantastic. Now that I've actually got my hands on the game, let's see what I really thought of this. As soon as you start the game up, the first thing you hear is that classic DKC jingle. And I don't know about you guys, but that brings me right back. It's Donkey Kong's birthday, and now that we've got the whole game back together, and we've even got Cranky Kong out of bed with his cup of Jesus juice to keep him from being so damn cranky, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Why do these penguins have their eyes set on Donkey Kong Island? What do they want to do with it? It's all warm, and it's not like there's going to be a tropical freeze anytime soon. The shadowy ominous figure blowing the big horn looks like he's the main villain of the game. He summons a frozen dragon, and just in time to ruin the party, too. So, this must have been what the Ragnarok was speaking of. Tiny penguins. In Viking Islands. Trying to take over the world. The graphical increase to 1080p really shines when compared to Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us later in the game. Right within the first 30 seconds of the game, it takes you on a complete nostalgia trip. You'll be collecting bananas, rolling around, it's good to be back. You hit the water, and boom, it's like you never left. The music has a really good sound to increase the perfect atmosphere for playing the game. It's a big medley of older songs that are mixed, so the songs will almost always be finger snapping good. The enemies in the game are nothing to write home about. They're very generic and made at complete random, with no thought in mind it seems. In the first area of the game you have insects, birds, sharks, fish, penguins, turtles that resemble Koopas all too much, some enemies that attack from a bush, and grasshoppers. The only redeeming quality about these baddies is they all have great animation, just like the rest of the game. Everything runs nice and smooth, and it's hard to get caught up on things, but it's easy to get caught up looking at things. It's no secret, this game looks pretty. It's bright and very sharp. The backgrounds and foregrounds complement each other in a visually stunning way. Each stage comes alive, in one way or another, with a ton of interactive triggers. Trunk Twister is the best stage to show this example. Every obstacle you come into contact with moves and changes up the dynamic of your next action. The stages can be pretty long to clear, so if you're trying to get them 100%, get ready to sink a little bit of time into the game. There are a lot of hidden things to find and hidden rooms to clear, and they're usually right in front of your face. The platforming in this game is spot on. The controls are nice and responsive, and I'd like to thank Retro Studios for figuring out that motion controls and Donkey Kong Country don't go together. Now, throughout the course of the game, they'll have you rolling, swinging, climbing, jumping, flying, swimming, getting shot out of barrels, and of course have to navigate dangerous abandoned minecart tracks. But with each different member of DK's crew attached to you, they give you different abilities. Dixie can help Donkey Kong fly, but most importantly, help him gain some height on the situation. She also has this nifty hair twirling skill that helps you get through heavy currents of water with relative ease. So Diddy Kong makes a return, but he has the same assist as the last game, only helping DK fly over gaps. But then there's Cranky Kong, helping cross those pesky thorn covered stages, jump on enemies heads, and bounce across the stage with style and grace. All in all, if I had to say based off the complete first area of the game, I would suggest to go buy it for anyone hardcore or casual. It offers up challenge and tons of exploration. And this game is a really good purchase and I have a lot of fun playing it. When I have a friend over, the game is that much more fun though. I give this game 8 golden bananas out of 10. And finally, we can say that Nintendo, you did a good job with making a new Donkey Kong Country game. I'm not gonna lie, this game, garbage. But this version of the game is really good. They've nailed everything, and they've learned that motion controls aren't meant for Donkey Kong Country. Now I'd like to stop and take a minute and say thank you to all the YouTubers out there who have come before me, who have paved the, the way, you know, for YouTubers like me. 
I've never really wanted to put myself on camera or anything like that, but I've always wanted to review games. And there is no better game for me to start this up with than Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now, I'd like to personally thank all of my, you know, friends for sitting through this with me, <laughs> helping me edit this first video, watching it with me, scrutinizing the shit out of me, first of all. But through it all, I've got it done. And thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Now, if you like my video, I would really appreciate it if you guys liked, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.